the information, which they called intelligence at the time, was a slippery concept. I wanted to try to find a way to treat information like a physical thing, like energy that you could measure. What I realized was that to measure information, uh, you have to look at it without regard uh, to meaning. Uh, that upset a lot of people, uh, that content is irrelevant. The point of sending a message is to remove uncertainty, something you didn't know, but now you know. Do you have a coin, Michelle? A, a coin? Uh, yes, coin. I'd get up to get one myself, but I know. You'll just tell me to sit back down. <laughs> um, yes. <clears throat> Heads or tails? Tails. Heads. A coin toss is an example of the simplest form of information to communicate. A binary choice. True or false. Heads or tails. A one or a zero. A bit. Is your coin legal? Sorry? Uh, your coin's not counterfeit, is it? Um, not that I know of. So, if I toss it a hundred times, each time I toss it, there's an equal probability that it's a head or a tail. Uh, I'd need a hundred bits of information, one for each toss, to communicate the results. Now, if it turns out you're some sort of a con woman, and you thought it might be fun to... Uh, to pull the wool over some gullible old man's eyes. <laughs> heads, right? It's heads on both sides. Uh, I didn't need any information from you to know the result. The, if something's completely predictable, there's zero information. But if, on the other hand, if something's completely random, you need information about everything. Uh, it, it's counterintuitive, but the, the gibberish contains more information than great literature. <laughs>